In the year 1957, the Soviet Union launched the first unmanned space mission on 4 October, and then on 3 November, launched Laika, a mongrel dog, aboard the Sputnik 2 shuttle. These were the first steps of mankind in space exploration. Present-day space technology includes spacecraft, satellites, space stations, and orbital launch vehicles, as well as deep space communication, in-space propulsion, and a broad range of additional technologies, such as support infrastructure equipment. Let us now discuss the types of space explorations. Flyby spacecraft. The initial reconnaissance phase of solar system exploration was carried out by flyby spacecraft. They maintain a constant solar orbit or escape track, never entering a planetary orbit. They must be able to use their devices to observe targets as they fly by. Their optical devices should be able to pan to correct for the target's apparent motion in the field of vision of the instruments. They must downlink data to Earth and store it on board while their antennae are off Earth point. They must be able to go interplanetary for lengthy periods of time. Flyby spacecraft may be designed to spin continuously for stabilization or to be stabilized in three axes using thrusters or reaction wheels. Orbiter spacecraft A spaceship meant to go to a distant planet and get into orbit around it must be able to descend quickly enough to achieve orbit insertion. It must be built to withstand solar planetary alignments, in which the planet casts a shadow over the spacecraft, preventing any solar panels from producing electrical power and subjecting the ship to high heat change. The celestial phenomenon of the Earth will also occur, disrupting uplink and downlink communications with the planet. The second phase of solar system exploration is being carried out by the orbiter spacecraft, which is following up on the initial reconnaissance with a detailed study of each of the planets. Magellan, Galileo, Mars Global Surveyor, Mars Odyssey, Cassini, and Messenger are among the many names on the list. Rover Spacecraft JPA is responsible for designing, assembling, testing, launching, and operating electrically powered rover spacecraft as part of the mission to explore Mars. The Mars Pathfinder lander, which landed on July 4, 1997, carried the first Mars rover. Sojourner was the name of the modest, Victoria solar-powered mobile system. Its rocker bogey movement technology was so effective that it was scaled up and utilized on all of Mars rovers up to this day. Observatory spacecraft An observatory spacecraft does not visit a location in order to investigate it. Instead, it is in an Earth orbit or a solar orbit, from which it can examine distant things without being obscured or blurred by Earth's atmosphere. As of early 2013, the Hubble Space Telescope is still operational. The Compton Gamma Ray Observatory mission was concluded in June 2000, and it was de-orbited. Chandra X-ray Observatory began operations in July 1999, and is still going strong. Spitzer Space Telescope began operations in January 2003 and continues to operate now. Many new types of observatory spacecraft will be launched in the future decades to take advantage of the enormous benefits of working in space. Now that you know about the four types of space exploration, which type do you think is the most interesting and why, let us know in the comments. If you learned something from the video, make sure to hit like and to stay updated on space explorations and advancements, subscribe to Explified.